my music. I don't want us to get copyrighted for using cool songs. We don't do that. We need that. We really we're struggling. We need that ad revenue. Um, uh, we're out here at Rhinos today, as you can see or hear. There's no one out here. That's how you know we're at Rhinos track. It's luckily. It's not like 115 degrees out here today. It's actually really nice right now. It's like so, 78, I think, yeah, with the breeze. Yeah, it's nice. I think we're just gonna do, I don't know, I texted Rhino. I don't even know if he's here. He, he might just come walking out of the trees over there or something. Like, hey, I've been here the whole time, guys. Observing know, you. <laughs> That's uh, a good thing. <laughs> I just said here. Oh, there he is. Up on the hill, you got your mega zoom. On. I, I don't, but he's coming. He's out there somewhere. Uh, he's on the rhino. Um, Rhino's in the rhino. Rhino's in the rhino. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think we're just gonna do ten today. I don't know. Rhino likes to sometimes be like, "Oh, we're gonna just do a 140 instead of four tens." All right, that, that that's that's fine too, I guess. But I think the plan because we did. Uh, 35s at Glen Helen on Thursday. Um, I think the plan is to just do 10s today. Like four or five of them. So we'll see. We'll see what Rhino says. I hope this track's gnarly to do a long moto on. Well, like 20s okay. 30s not, not awful. But like that 45 that I did here was just... Fucked. It was a lot. Yeah, that was a lot. It, it honestly not even so much from wearing out from the track. But like, just I got thirsty out here. The air is so dry out here in the desert that like I was so thirsty at like 30 minutes in. Whenever I got back and got a drink of water, it felt so good. <sighs> we'll see what Rhino has for us today. Of course he's shirtless. <laughs> Yeah, good. Yeah, so I didn't see maybe more, you know, much of a change, so to speak. I saw some places that you really focused on, like coming into corners and things that way. Yeah. But you might have felt more than what I saw because with the hips, that kind of almost happens naturally, right? And so with the chest, you're not going to see as much, but I think you might have put more emphasis in it, so maybe you felt something. Yeah, I mean, I didn't feel quite like a whole lot that time because I felt like I was already doing pretty yeah. good before. Yeah. Um, but. What about like acceleration? You know, did you feel like maybe you had a little bit more, more traction? Maybe the bumps weren't yeah, there as much. In some maybe spots, your, arm, yeah. your arms didn't have to do it as yeah, much. Yeah, some spots, yeah. Okay, for sure. And if braking maybe didn't come into your arms as much, you know, or maybe didn't feel as much there. Yeah. Okay. So again, you know, every little thing you're not gonna just be like, oh, I just transform. <clears throat> I just transform the whole track. Some things are gonna work. You know, like I say, your feet are going to probably be the most important today because it's so slippery. Yeah. But another track, you know, maybe something with hips. But um, so the first session we did, we, you know, we tightened, we, we were tight with the feet. The other one, 
then we unlocked ourselves, then we lengthened ourselves. Now this last one, we need to open up ourselves with our arms. You know, you have a little tendency of kind of yeah, you know, doing this, and I want <clears throat> to open these things up where you kind of turn your hands a little bit. You come in the corners and you're initiating with your elbow so that you're not over here a little bit, right? And then coming in the corners, you're also opening up so this can move and not closing down so you're not allowing it. Yep. So this next time, I mean, dude, even if you got it right at 30%, Okay, because this is where I feel is going to make a big, big, big change in your ability to extend off jumps, you know, open up to go through the whoop set in Supercross to make these corners, you know, tight. Because again, you like say, yeah, we're trying to improve you now, but I'm trying to improve you for the future because that's where I think your championship is. Yep. And so we have to chip away there. So today, this last one again, I want you to open up, come in the corners, open your arms up a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Come in the corner, get that elbow up and just see what you feel there and always be focused on almost feeling that outside of the grip yeah. with your yeah. hand if you can with your left yeah you know if that's an issue then that's the thing that we're gonna have, just have to deal with right just season out you know clean then put your focus into <clears throat> into winning that super cross mm -hmm. tens reversing the track track's way funner the other way because it's not so the whole the holes aren't everything instead of being like this everything's like that you can kind of jump the ruts and stuff it's actually fun the opposite way but we're gonna sw switch it for every 10. so it goes through shit way then fun way shit way fun way shit way yeah in on shit way yeah <laughs> in and on the shit way. three shit ways yeah it's a, <laughs> two fun ways such a lonely day it's mine The most loneliest day of my life Such a lonely day Should be banned It's a day that I can't stand The most loneliest day of my life Because again, you got to think about it. if I'm if I'm in this position, and I go okay, close your eyes and reach out to where you're going to be the strongest. You'd reach out to about here, yeah, for almost closer than your bars would be width. Yeah. Then if I said okay, pull, you wouldn't actually pull from here. You would pull from here. Yeah. And if you're sitting, you would push from here. You wouldn't push from here. The only way that you're you're strong in this position is when you rotate your hips out and come over the bars. Now your body's in this position, and you'd pull up and yeah. push down from there. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's why I started to notice. Um, I started to notice after we start working on hips and shit, yeah. and just watching like Sexton, Jet, guys with good technique ride. Um, their elbows are not always up. No, no they're you bring them down. like if anything, Jets are probably lower than Sextons are a lot no. of the time. Like no. I don't see, but he, but his like hips and back are so good. But when he comes in, matter. but when he comes yeah. in the corner, it's this. Yeah. You know, when he exits, it's more maybe yeah, just yeah. off the jumps. He's yeah. extending, right? <laughs> gang, gang. <laughs> uh, we're done. As you can tell, back to just absolute silence here in 
uh, here at Rhino Land. I was literally about to say we should call it Rhino Land. <laughs> yeah, whatever you want to call it. Rhino Land works. Um, it was a good day. I felt super solid. Didn't have a great day on Thursday or no, no, no. Tuesday. Didn't have a great day on Tuesday, really, or Monday. Um, just because Monday I, I had an a old motor spec because I broke one last week and they didn't get a new one. And we tried to test, but the motor makes the bike work differently. So Monday was kind of a just not great day. Tuesday, my my arm with all the nerve problems and stuff that I've lost all that uh, muscle. Every now and then I just have a bad day with it. Like it'll just not have grip strength. Just whatever reason, I just wake up and it just doesn't want to hold onto the bars that day. So that's kind of what happened on Tuesday. At Glen Helen, I just did 135 and then I was like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it. Cause, uh, or I, I tested, I tested. So I guess Tuesday wasn't too bad because we got the bike, I think a little bit better after riding this track today, the bike didn't feel too bad today. Um, felt pretty good. So uh, suspension wise. So um, I, I think that, uh, but yeah, I had a bad day with kind of with just my arm on Tuesday, but it feels pretty good again today. So uh, yeah, I felt pretty solid today. I actually felt a lot better at the track today than I did uh, the first time I came and rode here. But um, yeah, this track's kind of, it's just tough because you can't really like push super hard because it's so dry and slick and rough. So we just did kind of some technique work today, but uh, yeah, I felt super solid, had good intensity, like just felt good on the bike today. So, Unadilla this weekend, I guess that'll be the next video. Unfortunately, it's gonna be gas not going because flights were literally like 1500 bucks a piece. And- We do got Octane there though. Yeah, we'll, we, we, we got some, we got Octane. He's gonna get some footage while we're there. Riley's gonna do a little iPhone vlogging. So, uh, um yeah we're still gonna get a, we'll still keep the vlogs going i'm sure gas will be back at bud's creek as long as flight prices are like back at the normal usually they're like whatever 700 and that's manageable but 1500 a piece it's a little ridiculous even just for me and riley i was like damn so um yeah hope you enjoyed we're kind of what are we at subscriber wise like 15k Almost 15.5. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. We're, we're growing a little bit. Um, we're working on the next drop. I, I saw some of the comments. People were asking about when the next drop is. We're working on it. We, we, we have the idea. We have the, the print, the font, the color, everything pretty much decided. We're just trying to uh, figure think about, out. Think about something. Yeah. We got to figure out how to, how to, it's kind of some word play. So we got to figure out how to word make some things. Yeah. yeah. Word it right. Um, um, but the next design is going to be sick. Uh, I think um, hopefully the next maybe two, three months. Yeah. Coming up. I mean, we just got to sit down and figure it out. I mean, figure I, it out uh, and then shoot it and then we'll be good. Yeah. We just got to get the idea done and then, and then submit it and get the clothes being the, in the making process. That, that should be pretty shorter though. Right? Like we kind of have yeah. it figured out to where but like, like the video I want to do with it. It might take us a little oh, bit. Oh yeah. But, I forgot about that. But it will be sick. It'll be worth it. Well, we're, we're, we're working on it. We're trying to get done ASAP. Two months. Two months. I'm giving us that timeline. We'll, it'll be out in two months. I'll say that in another month. But, <laughs> yeah, no, we're it'll be go. sick. There's still merch. There's still, if you guys haven't gotten any merch, there's yeah. still, I think, a little bit, right? Not yeah, not a I, whole lot, but a little bit left. And I um, did some homie shit. I kind of left it at like low pricing. Yeah, it's the still sale. low pricing on the on the website. It's still that sale pricing. If you guys still want to pick up one of those shirts, um, we're actually hoodies. out of shirts. Just hoodies oh. and hats. Well, we just have hoodies and hats. Sorry, I know it's hot, but actually, this is the best time to buy hoodies because nobody's buying them, so they're on sale. So, this and is it's gonna get cold. Yeah, I, I always buy hoodies, no matter if it's summer, winter, because we keep our house cold anyway. So I just always buy hoodies and for when it gets cold. So yeah, thank you guys. Uh, if you have placed an order and if you have supported the merch and the channel, thank you. We appreciate it. And we'll wish me luck at Unadilla. We'll see you guys next Friday.